Hey guys, it's me, Trey Man, and I'm Silk, and I am back for another video. Thank you guys so much for 80 subscribers. This is somewhat of an 80 subscriber special. Hope you guys enjoy. So, I'm trying a new command concept. A lot of Java Edition players do use this, so, you know, uh, I'm gonna use it as well. Alright, so, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go into disconnect. All right, so I have turned off my abilities. So when it says disconnected, that means it's off. All right, let's go ahead and drop the item. Explosion mode has been activated. So how does explosion mode work? Well, if I look down, I float up. Oh, I messed that up. Yeah, so you only look uh, down once. So you go ahead and look down. And just stay looking down or you could just look up and not look down again so you go like this and then just stay looking up and it looks kind of like i just blew that up but it is a tnt minecart so that's just mode one let's go ahead and move move on to the next mode so when you're in battle right you as you can see on the right side of the screen you don't have much buffs as normal for so you can break yourself with lightning of the strength, you get regeneration, you get fire resistance, and normal resistance. So, yeah. Alright, let me go ahead and drop my item once again. I get deep lightning mode. What does this do? Let's go over here. Oh yeah, also, um, in the boost mode, when you drop the item, you can also begin to fly. Um, if I fly in here, come on, stop it. Please, Minecraft, no, please, please. Okay, so, as I said, the OP lightning mode, it will strike anything around me with lightning. So, yeah, that's pretty much what that is. As I was saying, so if you go into boost mode, so I'm gonna disconnect it, let's go to boost mode. If I strike myself, I can fly in survival for a short period of time. I guess it's infinite unless you touch the ground again. So if you touch the ground again, boom, you can't fly anymore. So that's pretty cool. So we got my mob from the previous video. So, snowstorm, you know, doing damage to me, right? I'm gonna go ahead and activate. If I stop lagging, I'll activate something. I can't stop lagging, so I can't do anything. <laughs> throwing hammer has been activated. Right. I do the throwing hammer. So, yeah, I can throw milk. Technically. So, I throw it. Look at that, that's so cool. It's like I threw it. So, and then I can go ahead and disconnect that, go to boost mode, regenerate all my health, and now I am here, back to normal. So, let me go ahead and do boost mode again. Go ahead and summon him. I can one tap, one tap him instantly. Alright, let's go ahead and spawn, and so let's go ahead and go and boost mode. It only lasts for five seconds, you have to work that. But, it does work as a damage as like a group attack, but the best for the group attack would be, um, OP lightning mode. Oh wow, that wiped them instantly. Whoa. Let's just go ahead and go to OP lightning mode, and remove all the experience off the ground. So, remove that from the view. That's nice. So, if I go ahead and turn that off. So I have throwing hammer mode. This is a lot of crowd control right here, but it's in a straight line. Look at that. <laughs> Look, they all got hit by this. All of them. Now, I'm gonna quickly go to the next mode. Alright, I'm gonna go to explosion mode. 
So if I go to a huge group of them, right? I go like this. They all want to come to the center. So <laughs> look at how many I killed instantly. Instantly to kill. Let's go ahead and go into bo boost mode. Let's go ahead and just one tap them all. Regenerate some health, you know. All that kind of stuff. I might, might give myself a speed boost one when, when I get, get in this mode. I might. Let's go ahead and destroy myself so I just don't die. Go ahead and eat. Technically, I can fight while eating as long as if I look down. Go strike the light. There we go. Now let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and. Still have my strength, and then let's go ahead and go into hammer mode. We don't get light mode. Now let's go to hammer mode. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Bye bye. Now. Look at how OP that was. This is Thor for you pals. <laughs> this is this is legit. All right, this is this is epic. I love this so much. So if you disconnect, the hammer goes away. Um, I'm probably gonna give a world download for this. Um, I said that on my previous video, if you go like that right now, if we get to 10 likes, I'll release a world download for this world. And yeah, let's get into the commands. So, the commands for this are actually over here. So, if we go ahead, if uh, I do release a world download, I promise you guys, I'll organize this world, I'll add like signs over everything, making sure you guys know which is which, what does what, and I guess you can just experiment with my commands and copy them if you want to, guess so, right? Oh, this is just for the, the example, alright, we start with this command. If you, maybe you noticed, but maybe you didn't, there's a grass block all the way over here. Oh, it has an armor stand named T on it, and of course I'm lagging. Let's go. I can't get down. Here. Um, I'll just... Um, nope. I am very much the lagging. Alright. So, there's T right here. Alright. Let's go ahead and drop down. So, what we do here is it kills any entity named Iron Axe. This axe is called, what, an Iron Axe, right? So when you drop it, it will go ahead and uh, add a scoreboard to the player um, that is named T. So any entity named T. Uh, and then the scoreboard that I made is L, and then you just do one. So if I go ahead and do slash scoreboard, right? How do you create one? You go ahead and do scoreboard objectives add, and then you just go ahead and do this. You just create your own and then do dummy at the end. Then once you do that, you can now put, uh, you can do this command. So that's how that starts. So once it has added um, the score of one to that, it will go ahead and give you the iron axe back. So as you can see, I can cycle through. So why is this scoreboard so like important? Every time you drop it, right? As you can see, I go ahead and drop it once, you get explosion mode right here. This just activated. Go ahead and do boost mode. Go ahead and drop it again. OP lightning mode. Go ahead and drop it again. Throwing hammer mode. Go ahead and drop it one last time. Disconnect it. So, let's go ahead and go through all this. So the first mode, explosion mode. It's going to test if T has one out of one scoreboard points. What does this mean? You can actually make a functioning counter. So as you can see, this is two, two, three, three, four, four, and five, five. Gotta trust me on that one. That's exactly how they are. So they'll go ahead and then after that, they'll detect, oh yeah, also I have to have a tag on me called BP. You can have, you can name the tag however you want. So. And my Rx and my Rxm has to be at 90 and 80. So what does Rx and Rxm mean? So let's go ahead and go into boost mode, right? This has the same thing, Rx. So if I go ahead and look down, see that repeater turned on for a second. 
that means that it's detecting that I'm looking down. Right? If I keep looking down, right, that repeater's gonna be on. But if I start looking up, it'll turn off. So that's what RX and RXM does. With the 90 and 80, you can mess around with it and have custom, I guess. It'll then affect me with um, levitation and uh, 2, 6, and then true. True means no particles. 2 is for 2 seconds up to the power of 6. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here. I'll go ahead and then affect me with the resistance for 5 seconds. Resistance 50 to be exact, with no particles. Which will then execute at me to summon a TNT minecart where I'm at after a delay of 35 ticks. So, what does this mean? So let's go ahead and go to explosion mode. I just want to make sure people understand what this means. So if I go ahead and look down, and drop down, it blows up. Simple. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and cycle to the next mode. To the next mode is the um, boost mode. Oh yeah, also it's giving me the title, um, that, that's pretty simple command. I might do a tutorial for all the simple commands in the future, but that's just in the future. So, this one affects me resistance with, for 5 seconds, the resistance 10 and then true. Goes ahead and then also affects me the strength. Over here, it'll give me the ability of Mayfly. You can only get this in Education Edition, so you can change your world to an Education Edition world. Um, you should know how to do that by now, but alright. It'll then execute at me to go ahead and summon a lightning bolt. So once it has summoned that lightning bolt, so you already have resistance and you already have strength, but then it summons a lightning bolt on you. Then it, uh, after a while, after 100 ticks right here, down here, it'll go ahead and turn off my Mayfly. So if I touch the ground ever again, I can't fly again, unless I was to boost myself up again. So, then I can affect myself with Fire Resistance 5 on True. Alright, and then it affects me with Absorption 1010 True. Uh, it will then go ahead and affect me with health boost. And then, um, technically it does last for only a thousand seconds compared to infinite. Uh, I only made it like this because, I mean, eventually he has to draw power for Millionaire again to get his strength. At least when he didn't, like, lose Millionaire, but I think that he's weaker without Millionaire. So I made it so after a thousand seconds, you have to draw more power for Millionaire. You're not invincible anymore. Which I think is fair. So, um, why did I make the power up? Alright, so let's start from the explosion. I should have made a explosion scene, or wherever he used his explosion ability store. Alright, so, and then, um, boost mode when he does this. All he's doing is gaining strength, regeneration, resistance, and fire res. Fire resistance, right? And then also the extreme health and then the extreme absorption. But why does this happen? Well, there is a scene in the movie where um, he goes ahead and nearly dies, right? But Millionaire comes out of nowhere, saves his life. So you should have seen that scene by now, but alright. Let's move on. So, this is the OP lightning. <laughs> so, this is a pretty big command. It will go ahead and execute at the nearest player who is tagged VP. Um, it will then execute at any entity that can't be tagged VP, is in the radius of 10, and can't be lightning bolts, because that gets extremely laggy, because it's then summoning a lightning bolt on a lightning bolt, which is then summons another lightning bolt on those two lightning bolts, which then eventually is like extremely laggy. I'll go ahead and then, uh, it can't be an item, can't be an arrow, and then summons a lightning bolt on them. So this is an execute of an execute. That's pretty much what that is. I'll also say that OP lightning bolt activated. So. Now, this is for the last thing. So, if you- Oh, actually, let's go ahead and do the hammer. So, 
Let's go ahead and go through here. So you throw the hammer, right? Oh, it gives you another right axe, right? You can then, um, oh, this clears the axe. Um, no delay in here. So just in case if you have like multiple axes, it removes it. This one then gives you another right axe. And then it will then uh, allow this to turn on. And then it will be, if you drop the another right axe, it will then kill it. And then once it has killed it, oh yeah, also important, you have to add a delay of five uh, ticks. Uh, when you drop that axe, it will go ahead and execute it you to go ahead and summon an armor stand named L three um, blocks away from your, where you're looking go ahead and then it sets this to a redstone block and this to an air block this redstone block becomes air that becomes redstone block that's what these commands do and it'll also give you fire resistance all right so this is where it gets a bit more complex We'll go ahead and teleport, so this command is on by default right here. So what does this one do? It allows me to move the lightning or the hammer wherever I want it to move. So, um, it will then execute uh, to te uh, teleport it where I'm, uh, where I'm facing or where I'm looking, three blocks away from where I'm looking, and it faces me. And then, once this has been deactivated, it'll go ahead and then execute at any entity named L to go ahead and teleport itself backwards facing me. And then, it'll go ahead and execute at the L to go ahead and summon lightning bolts at it. And this uh, makes it invisible. So and then after a while, this repeater activates all three of these command blocks go on. Go ahead and add 140 delay and ticks. Go ahead, it'll go ahead and uh, set this to redstone block, and then this one to an uh, air block, because technically there's a redstone block here right there. And then it'll go ahead and put the redstone block there, pretty much switching it. It'll also remove, uh, or give you another axe, because technically you just removed it. So. All of these delay of 140. So, that's all of the commands other than the disconnect. So, this one um, test for 5-5. Five, five. Um, it'll go ahead and remove 5 um, from the armor stand all the way up there. Uh, 5 points away from it. Also, remove all the netherite axes. In, out of my inventory, go ahead and say title, um, it'll go ahead and say disconnected, and then clear all the netherite axes. Um, so I, I do it twice just to make sure that all the axes are gone out of your inventory. So you can't just spam it. All it is is just going to redirect the, um, the hammer so and technically you can only throw it once so i don't want to make it just you know and it technically comes back to you but i have no animation for that so just imagine it came back to you you can add that on your own so op lightning mode throwing hammer mode disconnected uh explosion mode boost mode and that's all of them. so let's go ahead and disconnect it all right. so that's all i got for you guys um i know that seemed like a lot it was a lot it was a lot to take in. Do not worry about this at all. No, no worries about any of these redstone things, right? No worries, uh, not at all. And I'm going to be telling you guys about uh, my next video here. Also, I'm going to be making a Discord server, so look out for that, right? Look out for my new Discord server. Um, it should be in the description of this video by the time you see it. So, that'd be nice. And, um... And you can ask me questions, I will, I can collab with anybody, literally anybody, just ask me, I'll collab with you, no problems. I don't, I don't feel embarrassed with collabing with people, a lot of people do for some reason, so, um, yeah. Um, I don't care how many subscribers you have, I don't even care if you have a YouTube channel, uh, I'll collab with anybody. And, um... Yeah, and I keep I I 
pride myself to keep in touch with my community so you can give me suggestions um, in general and yeah see you guys in the next video peace